Hey everybody, it's Greg Rice. We're here in the Hi, Bucket, Greg. Pawtucket, Rhode Island. And I had a video request today from Mick LaFour, our all-intensive, our all-inclusive blog writer and ops manager here at the company. He said, Greg, we need a video about New Haven. The same way we made one about Fall River and Pawtucket, Worcester and Natick, we need to highlight New Haven. And you know what? No problem. That's where I'm from. I grew up in the Naugatuck Valley, small town called Naugatuck, Connecticut. In Naugatuck, we call it Naugy, the Garnet and Gray, Greyhounds. That's us right there. And a little aside, I sponsor a youth baseball team out there. They do a great job. Coached wonderfully. President Dave Falzone, he's been donating his time for decades since I was a kid. So, very big shout out to our Noggy Greyhounds out there. Now, we look at it. What is the population like? What type of opportunity is there? That's the first thing I'm looking at when I consider a territory. Providence has about 650,000 people. That's within a half hour radius. You look at New Haven, 850,000. So again, math getting in the way of my video thoughts here, but that's about 30% more people than we have here. Logistically, 95 cuts right through it, shoots right to New York City. 91 shoots straight up, Hartford, Springfield. And to the east, obviously, Providence, us here. The location is phenomenal. Also, what type of population is there? The schools. The schools, there's so many of them. Universities, colleges, you name it. The most notable being Yale University. One of the most prestigious Ivy League schools in the whole world. Crazy. Some of our presidents have gone there. Right there in New Haven. Also, the bonus, the kicker, is where I'm from, the Naugatuck Valley. The Naugatuck River is very similar to the Blackstone River. Okay, all former mill towns strewn about all the way up to, you could say, Torrington. These were mostly factories producing rubber. And by rubber, I mean shoe soles, okay, things like that. Charles Goodyear actually invented a certain chemical makeup of rubber that's used in tires today. Not 100% my specialty there. But this uh, used to be a grazing land in Naugatuck, where I'm from, and it ended up turning into Uniroyal, which is where pretty much everybody in the town and their mother worked at. So after these factories closed, what remained is same to here. The population remained and the housing remained. So these houses mostly have been turned into multifamily tenements. Two to six units being the most common, all the way down. Okay, so you have Waterbury, Naugatuck, Beacon Falls, Derby. Okay, you can get into Shelton, Seymour, parts of Bridgeport, that whole way down. Now, Woonsocket, right? Lincoln, Pawtucket, West Warwick. You see the trend? Same type of demographic, same type of setup. So, my point is, the person that opens it, and I have a good idea on who that person may be, is going to be able to take hold of the suburban areas, the urban areas, and then finally, the second bonus, the rural, okay, the outlying communities that are more plentiful with single family homes. And as you know, single family homes are the most expensive typically and the easiest to manage. So it's gonna be a diverse portfolio of properties and clients that this person will have in the New Haven market. And I have an idea, like I said, but I can't just announce it yet. So once again, Greg Rice here in the bucket, your property managed.